What do fried chicken, a deli sandwich, and barbecue have in common? I won't eat them unless there's a pickle involved. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be a whole pickle, because I like them crunchy. Okay. Yes. And it should be a dill pickle. So that's what I brought here. Traditionally, vinegar pickles mm -hmm. are made, as you might imagine, mm -hmm. vinegar and salt and cucumbers. And they can either be pasteurized to be shelf stable or refrigerated. I will tell you that when we did a tasting of pickle spears, we found a huge difference between the refrigerated and the shelf stable. Not so much here at the whole pickles. And I think our, our theory is a whole pickle can withstand the higher temperatures of pasteurization right. better for the shelf stable. And so that wasn't the defining factor. Mm -hmm. So in addition to shelf stable and refrigerated, you have lacto fermented. So there's no vinegar here. They're put in a salt brine. The bacteria that's naturally occurring in the cucumbers begins to convert the natural sugars into lactic acid. Mm -hmm. So that preserves the mechanism, the tartness that you don't need the vinegar from. That will also make the pickling liquid cloudy or milky. And so the one here that looks a little cloudy is lacto-fermented. Jack, my hands grew. <laughs> So garlic and dill are the most important mm -hmm. flavors here. And we found that if there were competing spices, they kind of drowned out the garlic and sure. dill. Anything that you're noticing, anything that you're liking? Oh, Julia, why don't you go first? Yeah, this one, see, not such a fan. It's a little on the watery side, not a ton of flavor. The little ones, the cornichons as I call them, they have a sharp little flavor that I wasn't expecting, which I kind of like. Okay. I put these on a cheese board, and so with a cheese board, I think that would be lovely. A and B are my favorite. B is a pronounced garlic flavor that I love. It has a lot going on in the flavor, and I dig that. This is like your average American barbecue style pickle, and I love everything about it. I I love the color, it's a little fluorescent. I love the crunch. It tastes like a pickle. All right, and if you're gonna pick a favorite, mm. all right, you're gonna go with B. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would eat all of these very happily, and I'm going to. This one just tastes a little less lively than the other ones. Okay. Uh, I think it's because the exterior, it's not that it's squeaky, but it just feels a little softer. Okay. But I'd still eat it. This one is brash and bright, effervescent, almost too powerful, almost too puckery. Okay. I'm going to disagree with you. This is, I think, my favorite one. Really? Because it's just really fresh. So I'm not getting a whole bunch of spices, but I am getting just like fresh pickle. There's a flavor in there I can't identify. Wine mm -hmm. is what kind of vermouth, maybe, mm. um, that I don't like in a pickle. And these, <laughs> boy, they are sour. <laughs> They are good. <laughs> the best part of these is they hit you twice. <laughs> Going down the throat. <laughs> oh, well, maybe it's a good thing they're so small. <laughs> I'd say there's more flavor in that than three of these combined. Yeah, true, true. But I don't think I could eat too many of them. All right. So C for you. I think so. B for you. So let's start with A, which is the Mount Olive. Mm. This was our runner-up. Mm. This is a little teeny bit softer. This is a shelf stable one. Okay. But we thought it was delicious. And our favorite of the shelf stable, if you want to not crowd your refrigerator with a pickle jar, go ahead and keep that in the pantry. Why not? B is the lacto fermented. Uh. And it's a lot of pickle. It's a lot of pickle. Uh, it has a lot of spices, which mm -hmm. I think you were picking up on the there's more than just garlic and dill. Our tasters really wanted garlic and dill and felt like there were too many other flavors, but you loved the fact that it was more complicated. Yeah. You're just a complicated person. You chose the winner from Boar's hey. Head. Uh, so this is a refrigerated pickle. It's just basically cucumber, garlic, and dill. It's crisp, it's mm -hmm. fresh. And then D is McClure's. Now, we all thought these are really sour. There's a lot of vinegar in those pickles. Even though they're little, they pack a punch. I mean, you- Yes! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were! Oh, and they just were too tart, uh, too sour. Um, I mean, I like a sour pickle, but that's a sour pickle. Bridget did pick the winner, there which comes from Boar's Head. Nicely done. Take our recipes and reviews wherever you go with the America's Test Kitchen mobile app. Fail-proof recipes, unbiased equipment reviews, how-to videos, and a vibrant community of like-minded home cooks. With smart searching and handy tools, you'll have everything you need to create the most amazing meals. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all-access trial membership. 
While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.